Hi, so today we are from Group 4 and we are going to present our Material Balance Design Project. Our company name is Koya Corporation. My name is Norman Sarah Binti Ramli. My matrix number is 196309. My member is Nur Sabina Muhammad Noor with matrix number of 198521 and Nasir Khalid Hamud Alhamdani with matrix number 195600. So, um, basically, our raw material for this project is methanol, we are, where we are required to produce an amount of 1,000 metric ton ethylene per year with its purity of 99.9%. We decided to use methanol to olefin process to produce our ethylene. So, our methanol with the molar fluoride of 5,240.03 metric ton per year. Uh, the feed uh, for our process is methanol and water. It goes into the heat and compressor and then to the fluid, fluidized bed reactor. Also, there is catalyst regenerator over there. And then the product of the fluidized bed reactor will goes into the heat and compressor and then goes into the distillation column 1. After that, it will boost again into the heat and compressor, into the water separator, and then it will boost into the compressor, and then distillation column 2, and lastly into distillation column 3. So, our product um, is ethylene with, with an amount of 1000 metric ton per year. Well, first we will be talking about the first unit, the fluidized bed reactor. Our feed will enter the preheating unit before it enters the uh, condenser unit, before it also can, uh, enters the fluidized bed reactor to be cracked inside of it. It will be cracked into ethylene, propylene, butane, water, and some other hydrocarbons. The uh, chemical reactions inside the fluidized bed reactor are shown in here. First, the, demet the methanol will be cracked into demethyl ether and water. Then the demethyl ether will be cracked in its turn into uh, the, our products in here, the ethylene, propylene, butane, water, and the other pure atoms of uh, oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen which are also the main components for other hydrocarbons which we neglected uh, due to the small size or the small products that we, that will produced that will be produced on this unit we we assumed the conversions for methanol and demethyl ether to be 100% the and we have another uh, plate in here uh, which is the catalyst inside of the fluidized bed reactor will be leaving will be burned and then leave with the coke uh, to enter the regeneration to be uh, uh, regenerated and reused um, as this this is the catalyst regenerator, uh, regenerator this is the amount of catalyst with coke that's coming from the uh, from the reactor it will be pured with air pure air coming in and react with the coke to produce the carbon dioxide the nitrogen in this outlet is the nitrogen coming from the air uh, on the inlet and in this outlet uh, is the catalyst the pure atom catalyst that was pure and uh, from this amount of uh, the chemical reaction inside the catalyst regeneration is as shown in here the carbon will react with oxygen to produce the carbon dioxide and the information is about the uh, about the catalyst is the ca catalyst name is SAPO34 the catalyst composition contains silicon, aluminum, phosphor, and oxygen, and the catalyst lifetime is 786 minutes. The regeneration time is one hour, and the region, uh, it will be regenerated 51 times. The catalyst will be regenerated 51 times before it starts losing its property, and uh, the conversion of the methanol will start decreasing. This is the flash drum or also known as water separator. So the purpose of this unit to remove water, where as you can see here, um, the molar fluoride from the distillation column 1 is 23.3585 kmol per hour. 
and then the temperature is negative 20, uh, negative 240.15 degrees Celsius and then it goes into the heater to um, increase the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius also the pressure is increased from 855.07 mmHg to 1098.96 mmHg so um, this um, the butylene, ethylene, and propylene, and also water uh, will go into the flash drum, and then the water will be removed uh, in two stream. This is stream two, and this is stream three. So uh, from here you can see in stream two there is only ethylene, propylene, and butylene uh, produced. And the water only goes out in stream 3, but actually there is a little amount of water in stream 2, but the uh, number of moles is very small, so that we don't include it here. So the water that um, are produced, that are separated in stream 3, is in liquid state with, uh, with its molar flow rate of 57.138 kg per hour. Where it is 100% water, there is no other compound here. Then in stream 2, is 10.0091 kmol per hour molar for it uh, at, the temp at the temperature of 5 degrees Celsius and the temperature of 1061.72 mmHg. So uh, you can see the composition of propylene, butylene, and ethylene there. Yeah, that's it. That's it for flash drum. So for distillation column 1, the purpose is to remove oxygen and hydrogen. The fee coming in is 37.06 kmol per hour with the temperature of 454.8 degrees Celsius and pressure of 1125.09 mm mercury. The composition is 13% ethylene, 6% propylene, 8% butene, 36% water, 10% oxygen and 27% hydrogen. It will go through a compressor and heater to be to lower the temperature and the pressure to 21.2 degrees Celsius and 855.07 millimeter mercury so we will go through distillation column to remove fuel gas which is which is composed of oxygen and hydrogen the assumption made is that uh, it is a complete separation where oxygen and hydrogen has the same properties and it is completely separated from the other hydrocarbon the fuel gas uh, comes out at the bottom stream with the feed of, with the rate of 13.7058 kmol per hour. So the product comes out at the top stream with the flow rate of 23.3585 kmol per hour, temperature of negative 240.15 degrees Celsius and pressure of 855.07 mm mercury. Composition is 20% ethylene, 8% propylene, 13% butene, and 57% water. So for distillation column 2, the purpose is to separate heavier hydrocarbon from ethylene. So the fit coming in is 10.0091 kmo per hour with 5 degrees Celsius and 1061.72 mm mercury. The composition coming in is 48% ethylene, 21% propylene, 31% but butylene. So it will go through a compressor to decrease the millimeter mercury to the pressure to 183.4069 millimeter mercury. And then it will go through distillation column 2 to remove the byproduct which is uh, high in butene with 99.5% butene, 0.4% propylene and 0.1% ethylene with the with the rate of 5.1877 kmol per hour. So the product is at the top which is 99.1% ethylene and 0.9% propylene. So the flow rate is 4.8192 kmol per hour, temperature of negative 52.5 degrees Celsius and pressure of 7050.5788 mm mercury. So the last Unit is distillation column 3 with the purpose to further purify the desired product. The fit coming in from distillation column 2 is 4.8192 kmol per hour. 
negative 52.5 degrees Celsius and 7050.578 millimeter mercury. So the composition is 99.1% acrylic and 0.9% propylene. So we go through distillation column three. Distillation column three and produce 99.9% ethylene and 0.1% propylene with the same floor uh, with the same temperature and pressure. So the fluoric at the product is 4.4996 kmol per hour. The byproduct is 0.3177 kmol per hour, 23.3 degrees Celsius, 8250.677 mm mercury. With the composition of 87% ethylene, 9% propylene, and 4% butin. Uh, on the matter of costing, we have products, uh, the raw materials of methanol and the catalyst is APO34. The products that we will be producing are ethylene and butane with purity of 99.93 and 99.46 respectively. The amount required to produce the required amount that was asked from us is more than 5,225 ton metric ton per year of methanol, which will produce about 1,000 about more than 1,000 metric ton of ethylene. And apart from this, we will be producing about more than 2,000 metric ton of butane. We used a currency of USD, uh, and our maximum revenue or all the revenue is nearly 3 million uh, USD uh, on the year that has these prices. In this first graph, we have the global demand for ethylene per year. Uh, it goes from right to left, and the global demand in 2022 is 177, and increases by time until it reaches about 264 million ton in 2032, which is a um, nearly the double of this number. Uh, the maximum income, uh, uh, the maximum cost or the minimum income here is the revenue here, the blue color, the dark blue color. It goes uh, down as the time go uh, uh, by time when the methanol price goes up and the ethylene price goes up, but in a small amount. In a, and the butane goes up also, but in a small amount comparing to methanol. This uh, line in here, it explains the price of the catalyst, which is too small to be uh, mentioned. Uh, for the minimum cost graph or the maximum income, we have the uh, this line in here, the dark blue color, explaining the revenue by year, uh, which will be increasing by time until it reaches about more than 10, uh, 10 million uh, per year uh, income to the company. For the medium cost or the average cost that is the uh, that is expected to be produced uh, or uh, that is expected to be uh, earned by the company, we have it in here by this dark blue color as well. Uh, it's, it is stable in 3 million Dollar, it's around three million dollar uh, per year. So, in conclusion, to produce one thousand metric ton per year of ethylene, our company need to feed an amount of five thousand two hundred forty point zero three metric ton of methanol per year. So, recommendation of future work to reduce the cost of production, our company need to consider uh, recycling the hydrocarbons. Also, we we did not consider the waste management of our, from our process route, so the waste should be handled properly to avoid contamination or hazard to the environment. And lastly, our process route has a few assumptions made which could affect the cost and profit of the production. So we should specify the process with more details to avoid losses. Thank you.